Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. A promo from last year that brought the hype is looking primed to do the same tomorrow in FC 25. Guys, we have to talk about Trail Blazers. Even though there aren't that many leaks for what this promo may look like yet, we have some news from EA that gives us a big clue on how this promo might actually cook and of course it's a rivals rewards thursday so we need to look at the market to make some profits for some quick flip investments and trades as the market should be rising today and it is the last day of content of the total rush promo we have one last sbc player that we might see today but it might be a pretty quiet day with the market going up not a lot of content before the big day of promo friday tomorrow if you're excited for it drop a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new let's talk about the sbc that dropped yesterday the sbc because there was really one big one it was the max 88 hero pack and the price was the biggest surprise in this one guys well there's actually two surprises the first one is the price the second one is this one's going to be repeatable again this weekend you can see on the counter there four days and however many hours from now we will be able to do this once again and the price is the best part about it 84 85 86 they added one rating to the pack right from an 87 to an 88 and they only added an 84 rated squad as a part of the requirement. Guys, this is a lot cheaper than I thought it was going to be because they added some big cards at the top end. Again, like Hazard and those types of players. Tevez are in this now. It's only 160,000 coins to do. And of course, since it is that middle tier of fodder that is required for this SBC, that is what is going up big time. 84s are 2.5k. 85s are 6,000 coins. 86s are 9,500 coins. And then the higher tier fodder is down a little bit, which is actually creating another great opportunity to invest because now we know of some bigger SBCs that are upcoming with potential player of the months. So I still love the higher rated fodder. This is another opportunity to get in as it started to go up. That's all I'll say about that. But if you have this tier of fodder, the 84s up to the 87s, I bet it takes a little dip today with Rivals Rewards and then goes up. And that's probably one of your best times to sell before we get into all of the packs that this weekend will bring. So that's kind of the impact on the fodder market for that SBC see right there guys i did open this straight away yesterday i'm going to tease the second channel if you want to check it out click the link above we got an okay poll it wasn't insane but that's all that i'll say go check it out there now also with yesterday's content we had league sbcs return and that was kind of a surprise to be honest the mixed leagues upgrade and the premium mixed leagues upgrades i know if you've played ultimate team for a long time these are not the league sbcs that you maybe remember from like fifa 17 fifa 18 the og league sbcs where you got a player reward and it was like 20 squads to do but these are the similar league sbcs that we had in previous years and this is actually so nice for those of you guys that like to grind the menus collect cards instead of putting them into upgrade packs put them into these packs which you can a pack icons from heroes from right because they're not rating specific packs you've got tradable ones in here and untradables the biggest thing to note about this is it creates value for a lot of random players on this game libertadores and sudamericana players which are now just golds this year they're not their own card design if you guys had not noticed that yet some of those are going up on the market and of course this is going to create sniping filters low budget trading filters all the time because people will want to do especially right now it's pretty hot to do these sbcs if you want to get them done or if you want to start trading with them especially for the premium mixed league sbc go inside of these and see like the libertadores ones twenty-seven thousand coins to do I don't know if this is 100% accurate or not, but that means, look at a lot of these cards, 2,000 coins, 2,000, 1,900. That means a lot of these cards are going to be moving and incredible opportunities to trade with them. I bet some of the silver prices go down today with marquee matchups and rewards supply. More so marquee matchups because that will supply some silvers a bit with like Electrum packs and stuff. You will have great opportunities to trade with those if you're on a lower budget. Some of you guys absolutely love this. And this is also just a time where if you want packs to save up for a promo like tomorrow, you can go and get these SBC done. They're not that expensive. 39,000 coins for the premium and 14k for the mixed league upgrade. And you can do them unlimited repeatable, stack as many packs as you want with some of them being tradable. So that's nice to have those 100%. Also, we have the Total Rush Challenge 6. Guys, this might be one of the hardest SBCs to complete that we've had in a while. It is five countries minimum, five leagues minimum. You have to find some like club links, I believe, with this 80 rated squad as well. And if you take a look, Flippin says that it's like 6,000 coins to do the SBC. But solution trading with this goes 
crazy. There are silvers, bronzes, and even gold cards. It, it says that it's like uh, 4,000 coins to complete, but I bet if I went and looked at the market right now, some of these non-rares and maybe the silvers are like max price at 5K. Solution trading at the moment is hot because of this SBC and the mix of leagues. If you like trading lower budget or if you're on less than like 20, 30,000 coins, go and look at some solution trading opportunities or just maybe check your club because a lot of Liga F uh, and I think it was League 1 players are like four to 5,000 coins with those big club links uh, because people are putting those into SBC and getting it done for a mega pack, right? There's a lot of demand because people want to get that mega pack. So that was yesterday's content with those SBCs there. A lot of SBC content for sure, but the hero pack was the biggest one. We'll talk more about that in the market segment, but let's look at some news from yesterday. Before we get into the Trailblazers content we have not one but two player of the month votings live la liga which this one we don't even even need to spend a lot of time talking about because it is basically wrapped up already who's going to win this we have griezmann lewa and Vinny as a part of the vote but if you take a look at lewa's stats you know he's winning he's got five goals on the month and that is way more than anybody else in the rest of the vote i believe lewa win, will win that award and that will be an spc coming in the next couple of weeks now for liga f it gets a bit more interesting. You have a lot of players in this vote, but namely Puteas, who had three appearances, three goals, and one assist in only 162 minutes, which is pretty crazy if you average that out. But there was a lot of hype yesterday on Twitter that we could be having a player of the month, Puteas, and I would agree she is probably one of the favorites, maybe not the favorite, but very, very likely that she would win the player of the month vote. I think these votes will end on Monday or Tuesday sometime. Late weekend, early start to next week is when the votings will end, and the SBCs could come at the end of this next week, or they could be the week after that, somewhere in there, early November or very, very late October. Um, it's very early, to be honest, to have this vote. I mean, to be honest, October is not over yet, and this is for the player of the month for October. So um, maybe the SBCs will have to wait until we actually turn the calendar into November. But a Puteas and a Lewandowski SBC might be coming soon. And that Puteas SBC for sure is why I'm still saying that's an SBC that's not maybe like on Player of the Month Mbappe type level or Player of the Month Vinny Jr. or something crazy like that. But a Puteas SBC would definitely be over a million coins. Her promo card is uh, what? 2.1 million coins right now for the Total Rush version. There was some panic yesterday because people saw this news they started selling the gold version of puteas even though she is out of packs if you have this card i would think it's going to rise today after rivals rewards and i would probably sell it then just because the gold market in general just continues to drop but if there's knowledge of an spc coming for her even if it's over a week away that's going to make some people not want to buy her card it's going to impact her price for sure last thing we need it to talk about is road to the knockout prices because some are up well, not many are up. Most are actually down, and we do have a couple more upgrades confirmed. Not Frimpong and Leverkusen, though, because they drew against Brest, which means this card is down in price. Of course, Barcelona got the big win, but nobody from Barca is getting upgraded just yet. The only upgrades we will have for Champions League-only cards coming out tomorrow. Once again, guys, tomorrow and Friday will be the upgrade day. After today's games, we'll have all the knowledge of the upgrades for Conference League and Europa League cards, too. They will all get upgraded tomorrow at some point. VVD is going to go up plus one for Liverpool's win. Jota as well for that, so GG's if you did the SBC. And then, of course, Watkins from the games earlier in the week. So just three cards are getting upgraded it's because a lot of teams either drew or lost, like from Pong. You know, even the teams that were that, that lost, like they were maybe favored to win. Harry Kane, you know, Bayern, they're down a lot. His his card is down a lot because they didn't progress towards upgrades. Araujo, he rose up a little bit because of Barca's win, but still, he is not getting any upgrades right now. They still need one more win, and he needs to score in one more match. So, technically, this next game for Barca, really, really good chance that uh, Araujo gets a plus two, actually, from that one. So, we have that situation. Also, with Julian Brandt, same thing that we mentioned in yesterday's video, but a lot of the RTTKs, as you can see here, go down after their games. And I think that's just because um, of the, like players are not hitting those upgrade quotas and they've been invested in for so long. We also have a big promo come this weekend that's got a lot of hype as well. So maybe people are selling out of those cards. So that's just kind of something to even consider if you've invested in a Cherokee or a Romero 
or a Garnacho ahead of today's games or a Dybala as well. Like United, like even if they win today, United's playing who? Fenerbahce. If they win, that's their first win. If they score, that's their third or fourth. So they progress towards an upgrade, but I would be very, very shocked if Garnacho is above 380 or 400,000 coins tomorrow night when we're looking at the video at the exact same time. So selling on the hype with these cards seems to be most of the play, especially considering the general market conditions that we are in. Now, let's talk about Trailblazers. The main point of the video today, guys, the news of the promo coming out. The, the crazy thing is we have a loading screen that was added yesterday to this game, which I want to show you guys right now. There's barely any leaks at the moment. It's kind of nice and refreshing to have a little bit of, you know, no leaks. There's going to be leaks, so I, I'm not just getting ahead of myself by saying that, but it's nice to see the loading screen to get a little bit of genuine hype for the promo here with some interesting little tidbits in here. EA is genuinely focusing on the play style pluses and the role plus pluses, as you can see on this loading screen. You've got a center back, a cam, left wing, and striker, and people are trying to speculate who some of these players may be. Now, this is a second year promo in FC. Last year, we had it for the first time in 24, and it was all about play style pluses, if you guys remember, right? As you can tell down here, they said play style pluses upgrades for players on fire. It's kind of like an early team of the season is honestly a way that you could describe it because it's all about players that have perform been performing well in real life and EA gives them uh, play style pluses or most of the cards play style pluses in the areas that they have been performing well. So like last year, Jude Bellingham, they gave him technical plus. They also gave him finesse shot and incisive pass play styles um, added to his promo version, which you guys remember some of these cards, right? Mbappe had power shot. Salah went from finesse to technical, which made this card maybe a little bit less valuable than the gold and his other cards maybe. Graham Hansen, this was one of the most cracked cards of the year last year in the early game. She went from trickster plus to finesse. The Jude with technical, the Griezmann with Trivella, Ruben Diaz with anticipate, Mkhitaryan Kuhn, Day. Now, again, you see the lower tier cards here. Not all the players are going to get play style pluses, but last year, the whole part about it was changed play style pluses from what their gold card maybe originally had, additional play styles, and it looks like this year they're going to add on top of that roll plus pluses because every single card in here has a roll plus plus. So I wouldn't assume that every single card in the promo is going to get one of those too, but it sounds like this just seems like it's going to bring the hype because if they're changing play styles and knowing how that went last year, some of the ones went a little more in the meta way, right? Some of them went a little bit less meta. Harry King got power shot. That was a big upgrade for him. Uh, Marquinhos got the anticipating team to lay out with the finesse. This card was crazy. That card was everywhere. This Kubo was actually pretty good. And even you see here in team two, some of the lower rated cards ended up getting play style pluses as well. So that's the hype of this promo. If they're adding roll pluses and roll plus pluses and play styles, that's something that we've been lacking in the last promo, this total rush, the two weeks of this. Sure, we've had a few upgrades here or there, but it hasn't been across the board. This type of promo has hype and has big potential because it could be a power curve boosting promo. If the players are semi-affordable and if the SBC players are good too. Guys, you remember this promo team last year, especially for the Rodrigo SBC that we had as well, right? That Rodrigo was one of the most memorable early game SBCs during FC24 and had so many people people did that card now granted these cards last year weren't cheap like this Griezmann was 700,000 coins but like this card a promo Griezmann right now in FC 24 is 900k almost a million for the Griezmann that we have sure he's got finesse this one had Trivella there's differences this year's market a lot of the top tier is very inflated but that is one thing speaking of the market that I think this promo could actually Make the market drop a little bit, guys. We have been getting to a place on this game. I tweeted about it and even mentioned it in yesterday's video that icons are just getting the top tier in this game in terms of prices are getting ridiculously expensive. Like, I don't know in what world, uh, what was it, Gerard's price or whoever I was looking at, Beckham, I think it was Gerard's, like 600,000 coins, and he was 300K last year. Some of these prices are getting crazy. And if new cards are going to come out like these Trailblazers that have high playstyle plus upgrades, playstyle pluses, playstyles regular, and roll plus pluses, it could actually kind of correct the market a bit with this power curve boost. Because think about it, if people have coins, they're going to want to go to the best possible cards. We all want to keep progressing as the power curve goes up. So this could be that promo that boosts the curve a little bit and makes prices drop. So I'm not saying that to scare you away from investing because I'm still investing all of my coins today for division rivals rewards for the market rise. I just think that's going to impact the market later on 
this weekend. Now, speaking of leaks, this is the only leak that we have right now. Pulisic is set to come into Ultimate Team soon. And again, this is the only leak. We've already looked at this. There's nothing else at the moment. I think the leakers have information on who's in the team. I think they're withholding it at this point because they want to leak it today so they could potentially make coins off of it. I know that's a theory. I'm not a leaker. I don't know. I don't have that information. But just from the hints and stuff that those guys have been making on Twitter and stuff like that, it just seems like uh, that information is probably going to be uh, withheld or has been withheld and will probably be more commonly released and talked about today. So that's that could impact the market today a little bit too. But definitely watch out for that because you can kind of pair up who we get leaked with who's on the loading screen too, right? So we'll be able to catch on a lot of like that left wing trickster plus card. A lot of people are thinking that's Rafinha because Rafinha has been cooking, absolutely cooked yesterday in real life in the Champions League game as well. I had bought a Rafinha for 408,000 coins as our investment for post rivals today, but I ended up selling this card because I was like, if Rafinha's in the promo team, people are going to panic sell this version. That's one thing you can expect to see. If the other if the player's got an inform or another promo card and they get leaked to be in this team with a new playstyle plus, a card that maybe looks better than the one that they currently have statistically or with the playstyle plus or role that's added, then I would expect to see that price drop on that player. So I just took the safe cash and Rafinha there. People are thinking that this center back with anticipate might be Saliba, but then again, that wouldn't be a change to Saliba's playstyle plus. So it could be somebody else, maybe Gabriel, not to just mention Arsenal players, could be a lot of different people. So just kind of incorporate that and watch the market today in terms of the leaks that could impact a few things here or there. Now, some of you guys might also ask, Nate, are you saving packs? No, I am not going to save my rival shorts today. I'm going to be um, ripping those straight away because I still have hopes of maybe getting insanely lucky for the team of cards that is in packs right now. We'll have other packs to open throughout the week. We'll have foot champs rewards and stuff like that. So we'll get packs. I'm not worried about it. But um, I know some people, some of you guys, maybe if there's just an idea that you want to save your packs. You're like, nah, these packs, these cards, they don't do it for me. You could save packs. I don't think a ton of people are going to, but you could absolutely go ahead and do that. Now, that's enough about Trailblazers. Let's talk about the market a bit because you can see I've invested a few cards in a few cards here. I've invested a decent amount of my coins and I'm ready to see a market rise today. This Trent and this Vandevin are two of the main cards that I've invested in at the moment. And the thing is, the market is not super low on some of these cards. Like, Trent is not low. He's actually, he's going up now already. Um, I don't know what Vandevin is in, in terms of price, but we didn't, we, we saw market drop-offs yesterday. We did. I mean, to say that we didn't see drop-offs would be completely false. Like uh, the Griezmann's now 57K. Jude Bellingham was 150. Uh, Bonmati was down even further. VVD was down even further. Saliba was actually down a lot. He was in the 170s. I think Militao, who's 64K, what did he drop off? He went from 77 down to 61. So, you had a really big drop off, especially on the golds. Guys, if you want to trade with gold cards today, if you're on a lower budget, definitely get on the bids during Rivals Rewards. That is the time to buy anything that is in packs. And since we're mentioning in packs, also Total Rush Team 2. I made a lot of coins last week on Total Rush Team 1 after the prices had dropped loads. Remember, I bought KDB for like 1.3 million and sold them for almost 1.5. Um, a couple hours after Rivals Rewards because he had dropped off a bunch. Definitely keep an eye on Zaire Emery, Tomori, Guerrero, if, especially some of the lower tier cards that are definitely going to get packed today from Rivals. Watch for drops here. Vert is down very low. Lewandowski is going to have some hype too. Um, even uh, Martens and Iago Aspas as well. They've dropped a good amount, especially Martens. Keep an eye on those today if you want to trade with that. And of course, the Impacts Team of the Week. We didn't even mention that as a part of yesterday's content. Uh, Harry Kane, Pedri. These cards have had some crazy fluctuations. Gavardiol, Diaby, and Karchawi have a lot of demand, and Pedri as well. This Team of the Week has some decent demand for the for the middle tier of cards that are semi-affordable, this is going to be a good team of the week to invest in as well out of packs, in my opinion. So we're going to be looking at that this weekend. But these cards will drop with supply, then potentially rebound after content too on some of the more popular ones. So definitely watch that for in-packs cards today, the team of the week, and Total Rush team too. Now, if you're like me and not going to be awake for awards, some of you guys may not be, I'm going to invest beforehand. So I went in on the Trent because I was like, you know what? Trent has been a card that's been flying. I know he's up a lot. But people love this card and he's rare. So 
Yesterday, he was 368. I saw him go to 383, and he's been 380 since content. So I was able to pick up a couple for 360s, and I'm just going to hold on to those. But for the rest of my investments, I'm kind of looking at informs, icons, and heroes. The Vandevins I picked up in the low 180s. I picked up two Martinelli's at 49. He's already 54. Got, um, Eder Militao is starting to go up as well. I, I think the heroes and the icons will be a decently safe play today as well. Um, and it's just it's just the market has the movements every single Wednesday. And maybe this is the Thursday. Sorry, every single Wednesday into Thursday. And maybe this is the week that it, the rise is not as big. If people are like, oh man, I don't want to spend my coins on the team and buy players um, after Rivals Rewards if we had this huge promo coming. But as of right now, the promo just has a loading screen. It's not like we have leaks or it's been really um, promoted that crazy. So I, I am fully investing my coins today in some cards that I think we'll be able to flip for a profit. I, I would say a lot of you guys should be doing that as well. Again, if you want to go on bids for stuff in packs, go for it. If you want to go out of packs, this Usman Dembele for like as close to 400k as you can get. Ooh, 410 like that's that's tempting 410 is really tempting because i flipped him and sold him at 440 multiple times same thing with like rodman inform luis diaz inform uh the out of packs informs are really really good because people are looking to upgrade teams and buy players that they can use to link in their squads Ooh, that's cheap too 416 yeah she's down a little bit so just kind of thinking the way that people are going to be upgrading their squads today after rivals it's going to be more expensive players players that are linking to newer SBC. Sophia Smith was like 320. She's now 340. So 320 for her was a really good buy, it looks like. And uh, yeah, today should be another really, really good day for the market. Now, if you want to buy a team, I would probably say maybe we stay away from buying a team, even if it includes icons um, in some degree, or if it includes heroes, because I think with the way this promo is looking upcoming, maybe we just take a back seat on that and say, you know what, if we're going to buy a player for the team, we're going to wait a couple of days here, even if it includes icons or heroes, because I think once we get to this weekend, that's going to actually, uh, the market's going to drop even more on Friday, Saturday, and on Sunday, because I think that content's going to ramp up. If they fix Evos, if they give us a good SBC player, a banger SBC, we could be in for a good one. So that's the market for today. Really quick, to end the video, Thursday content, we're not expecting much because guys, Thursdays so far this year have been really quiet. A good day to get your rivals games, maybe for next week get ahead, but also qualify for foot champs. Today's the most popular day to qualify for foot champs. Marquee matchups will be another SBC we get today. If you'd like to trade with that, definitely watch out for the requirements there. And then we still have the I Ibanez, Ibanez um, center back from the Saudi league, the Brazilian. We still have that league that is floating around, which made Neymar's price go up a bunch. The question is, will we get this today or was that leak cap? Um, if obviously we were going to get a total rush of Banyas, it would be today because today is the last day of the total rush promo. So watch out for that one. That's potential SBC content that we could get today as well. So I'm going to go hunting on the market, try to find a few more deals, maybe on some cards that were low that have started to show promise of going back up. But then again, just focusing on what's popular, what is meta and what is rare. And we'll hopefully have some good profits once again today on a Thursday after rewards. One check. What's gold Salah. This will be the last call. Gold Salah, Gold Puteas, anything that is out of packs right now, even like Tomori. I know a lot of people have invested in Tomori, hoping that he would go up. He went down like crazy earlier in the week. What is he now? 20, 22, 3, 24, somewhere in there. Uh, 24,000 coins, 23K it looks like for him. So he's down a lot, but he is out of packs. And we do have a Pulisic. That's the only leak that we have right now. So I was looking at like Loftus Cheek. I haven't bought any Loftus Cheek because I just don't know how high he's going to go. Like if I buy this for 260 and he goes to 280, is that really worth it to me? I really wish that he would go to like 300 or something crazy. And I don't know if he's going to go that high. So um, I might pass on that investment, but that's maybe one that you could look at if you like it. But yeah, make sure you do a little research on the market to buy some cards today, because this is the easiest day of the week to make coins. The market goes up every single week, and I think it's going to do the same today. So try to find some good cards, find cards that people will want to buy, especially if they're rare. That's what you're looking for. So that's the video for me today, guys. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it. Comment up below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. Check out the second channel for yesterday's big improvements in our division rival status as well for the big rewards we're going to have today. Check that out there and make sure to come to the stream today to see those division rivals rewards when we open them. I appreciate you guys, man. Have a great Thursday. It's been Nathan from Count. See you later. Peace out.